The NCAA handed down its punishment for the UMHB football team after a 20-month investigation into self-reported infractions committed by head coach Pete Fredenberg, including vacating their 2016 national championship. Sports director Matt Roberts was at the press conference this morning. He joins us now in the studio. Now, this seems like a stiff penalty for this kind of infraction, right, Matt? Yeah, Adam, I think that's the sentiment surrounding it, but this all stems from Coach Fredenberg letting a former player use a 2006 Subaru he was not using prior to and during the 2016 season, and then again in the 2017 season, meaning all wins this unnamed player played in while having driven the car have to be vacated, including that 2016 national championship. Now, this comes on top of self-imposed penalties, including a three-month suspension without pay for Fredenberg, a three-game suspension for Fredenberg at the beginning of last year, a $2,500 fine, enhanced compliance training, and probation. UMHB President Randy O'Rear says UMHB is with the NCAA on this decision in every way but vacating those wins. We recognize the seriousness of the violations and we self-reported, but we respectfully disagreed with the committee's added penalty. We requested that the committee reconsider their decision, but they declined to remove the added penalty. We made a mistake and we are holding ourselves accountable. We accept every other element of the committee's decision, but in light of the circumstances surrounding this case and as a matter of principle for all the student athletes who had no part in the infractions, we intend to appeal the added penalty. Now, UMHB nor the NCAA would name the player Coach Pete Fredberg lent the car to, but it was definitely a somber setting in that press conference earlier today. And coming up, we'll hear from an emotional Pete Fredberg who takes full responsibility for his actions. Until then, Adam, back over to you.